Hi, this is Ike from Ike'sOutdoors.com. Today we're going to be working on our bow a little bit. We're going to be doing a little bit of creep, creep tuning. creep tuning is going to help you accomplish with your bow is it's going to help you tell whether your cams are actually truly in time or not. Creep tuning is very easy to do and it's one of the most effective ways of finding out whether your cams are truly in time. All you have to do is place a piece of tape through the center of your target. Uh, I just put a real, piece, real thin piece of masking tape on there and I just form an X across, the, across my target with it. What you're going to want to do is take your bow at 20 yards and you're going to want to pull it back and put it as hard against that back wall as you possibly can. You're going to want to really sink it in as, as hard as you can and take your shot. That should hit right in there and should be uh, should hit right where you're aiming. Now your next arrow, what you're going to want to do and what I do, is you're going to want to creep forward. That's the name creep tuning. You're going to want to creep forward a little bit and have a real soft draw. And on that shot, you're going to want to aim at the exact same spot and you should hit exactly where your other arrow is, or close, you know, you want to make a good shot. If you feel like you made a good shot and, and uh, you hit there, then, then your, your cams are in time. Now, if you do that, and on your second shot you hit high, it means your bottom cam's out of time. What you're going to have to do is take a, uh, take a, add about a half a turn to your bottom cam. If you're hitting low, it means your top cam is out of time. You're going to have to add about a half a turn into the string on your top cam. And you may have to do this multiple times. I add about a half a turn every time I do it. So I'm going to step back here at 20 yards. I'm going to take two shots and we're going to see where this bow is actually in time. So you can see there with my first shot, I hit right on a little bit low, but I hit pretty much what I was aiming at. Now these two shots, I shot a little bit to the left, but I wasn't real comfortable with those shots. It's hard to, when you're used to pulling as hard as you can against that back wall, it's hard to kind of maintain your form and stuff like that when you're creeping a little bit. So I didn't feel like these were good shots and, and accurately representing the bow. So I took this final shot, and it is a little bit high, but to me that's acceptable. If I was way high, then I'd go in and add a uh, add a twist to my bottom cam and shorten that cable up a little bit. Now, if I'd made my second shot and it was way low, I would have went in and I would have added a twist to my top cam to shorten that cable a little bit. So that's creep tuning, and it's a very easy, very effective way to make sure your cams are in time. You can see just by sitting out here and spending five minutes, I know that my cams are pretty well in time. I may. I may do a little bit better and take a, take a, put a half a twist in the bottom cam and it may pull those two right together. But I think if I can get them that close, it's probably me. Um, I don't, I'm not that great of a shot, so uh, that's about consistent for me. If I, can, if I can keep them that close to 20 yards, I'm pretty happy with it. So that's creep tuning. Very easy to do and a very effective way to make sure your bow's in time. Be sure to check out our website, ikesoutdoors.com, for more videos, more product reviews, more tips and tricks. And there are several other tuning videos on there as well. Uh, walk back tuning, we cover paper tuning, broadhead tuning, everything you need to know to get your bow shooting. Uh, shooting like it should. So, appreciate you watching. Be sure to visit the website. I like good times, good wine, good smoke, and a five-piece bed. And, oh, I can't help it.